Dialogues in English about Halloween Part 1 Hey, have you decided what costume you'll wear for Halloween this year, or are you still considering all the options available at the costume store? Hey, have you decided what costume you'll wear for Halloween this year, or are you still considering all the options available at the costume store? Well, I've been pondering the idea of going as a classic vampire with a cape, fangs, and, of course, the pale makeup to complete the look. Well, I've been pondering the idea of going as a classic vampire with a cape, fangs, and, of course, the pale makeup to complete the look. You know, I was contemplating dressing up as a spooky ghost, complete with a flowing white sheet that billows in the wind, and I'll even add some eerie chains to jingle as I walk. You know, I was contemplating dressing up as a spooky ghost, complete with a flowing white sheet that billows in the wind, and I'll even add some eerie chains to jingle as I walk. That sounds fantastic. But I was also thinking about going as a sinister werewolf, with a realistic fursuit and convincing fangs to make it truly intimidating. That sounds fantastic. But I was also thinking about going as a sinister werewolf, with a realistic fursuit and convincing fangs to make it truly intimidating. Speaking of scary costumes, I've been contemplating a headless horseman outfit, complete with a pumpkin head and a horse prop. Speaking of scary costumes, I've been contemplating a headless horseman outfit, complete with a pumpkin head and a horse prop. Oh, that would be creepy. I was considering a mummy costume, with layer upon layer of bandages and some glow-in-the-dark eyes for added spookiness. Oh, that would be creepy. I was considering a mummy costume, with layer upon layer of bandages and some glow-in-the-dark eyes for added spookiness. What about a classic witch costume with a pointy hat, broomstick, and a cauldron to complete the ensemble? What about a classic witch costume with a pointy hat, broomstick, and a cauldron to complete the ensemble? That's a great idea, but I've also been thinking about going as a mad scientist with wild hair, lab coat, and test tubes filled with bubbling concoctions. That's a great idea, but I've also been thinking about going as a mad scientist with wild hair, lab coat, and test tubes filled with bubbling concoctions. If you want to add a twist, you can dress as a zombie doctor, complete with a bloody lab coat and gory medical instruments. If you want to add a twist, you can dress as a zombie doctor, complete with a bloody lab coat and gory medical instruments. That's a creative idea. But I'm contemplating a classic Frankenstein's monster costume, complete with bolts in my neck and green skin. That's a creative idea. But I'm contemplating a classic Frankenstein's monster costume, complete with bolts in my neck and green skin. I'm considering a Dia de los Muertos theme, with a vibrant sugar skull face painting and a colorful dress adorned with marigolds. I'm considering a Dia de los Muertos theme, with a vibrant sugar skull face painting and a colorful dress adorned with marigolds. That's a unique choice. I was thinking about dressing as a character from a popular horror movie, like Freddy Krueger, complete with the iconic striped sweater and glove with razors. That's a unique choice. I was thinking about dressing as a character from a popular horror movie, like Freddy Krueger, complete with the iconic striped sweater and glove with razors. How about a haunted doll costume with porcelain makeup and creepy cracks drawn on your face? How about a haunted doll costume with porcelain makeup and creepy cracks drawn on your face? That's a spooky idea, but I've been contemplating a spooky clown outfit with a ruffled collar and a sinister grin. That's a spooky idea, but I've been contemplating a spooky clown outfit with a ruffled collar and a sinister grin. I'm thinking of going as a classic black cat, with a sleek black bodysuit, a tail, and some glowing green eyes. I'm thinking of going as a classic black cat, with a sleek black bodysuit, a tail, and some glowing green eyes.
Black cats are always associated with Halloween, but I was considering a Grim Reaper costume with a long, flowing robe and a skeletal mask. Black cats are always associated with Halloween, but I was considering a Grim Reaper costume with a long, flowing robe and a skeletal mask. If you want to add a magical touch, you can dress as a fortune teller, complete with a crystal ball and a mysterious, draped shawl. If you want to add a magical touch, you can dress as a fortune teller, complete with a crystal ball and a mysterious, draped shawl. That's intriguing, but I've been contemplating a head-turning Medusa costume with a wig of snakes and a stone gaze. That's intriguing, but I've been contemplating a head-turning Medusa costume with a wig of snakes and a stone gaze. How about a spooky pirate theme with a tattered, ghostly pirate costume and a skeletal parrot on your shoulder? How about a spooky pirate theme with a tattered, ghostly pirate costume and a skeletal parrot on your shoulder? Pirates are always a great choice, but I've been thinking of going as a haunted house, with a cardboard structure and flickering LED candles. Pirates are always a great choice, but I've been thinking of going as a haunted house, with a cardboard structure and flickering LED candles. Mary, have you ever considered why Halloween is such a popular holiday, where people of all ages participate in festivities like dressing up in costumes and going trick-or-treating? Mary, have you ever considered why Halloween is such a popular holiday, where people of all ages participate in festivities like dressing up in costumes and going trick-or-treating? Well, John, Halloween's popularity can be attributed to its rich history, dating back to ancient Celtic traditions, and it's a time when people can indulge in a little spooky fun and imagination. Well, John, Halloween's popularity can be attributed to its rich history, dating back to ancient Celtic traditions, and it's a time when people can indulge in a little spooky fun and imagination. Hi, Sarah. I'm curious, do you know the origins of pumpkin carving on Halloween, and how did it become such a beloved tradition? Hi, Sarah. I'm curious, do you know the origins of pumpkin carving on Halloween, and how did it become such a beloved tradition? Absolutely, Mark. Pumpkin carving has its roots in Irish folklore, where turnips were initially used, and when the tradition migrated to America, pumpkins were abundant and easier to carve, leading to its widespread adoption. Absolutely, Mark. Pumpkin carving has its roots in Irish folklore, where turnips were initially used, and when the tradition migrated to America, pumpkins were abundant and easier to carve, leading to its widespread adoption. Mary, can you explain the significance of costumes on Halloween, and how it has evolved from traditional scary attire to more diverse and creative options? Mary, can you explain the significance of costumes on Halloween, and how it has evolved from traditional scary attire to more diverse and creative options? Of course, David, costumes on Halloween allow people to temporarily become someone or something else, with origins in disguising from spirits. Nowadays, it's an opportunity for self-expression and creativity, not limited to scary characters. Of course, David, costumes on Halloween allow people to temporarily become someone or something else, with origins in disguising from spirits. Nowadays, it's an opportunity for self-expression and creativity, not limited to scary characters. Hey, Sarah, I've always wondered about the connection between Halloween and the supernatural, like ghosts and spirits. Can you shed some light on that? Hey. Sarah, I've always wondered about the connection between Halloween and the supernatural, like ghosts and spirits. Can you shed some light on that? Certainly, Tom. Halloween is associated with the thinning of the veil between the living and the dead, which is why ghostly themes are prevalent, providing a spooky and mysterious ambience. Certainly, Tom. Halloween is associated with the thinning of the veil between the living and the dead, 
which is why ghostly themes are prevalent, providing a spooky and mysterious ambience. Mary, I'm intrigued by the symbolism of black cats on Halloween. What's the history behind them being both feared and revered? Mary, I'm intrigued by the symbolism of black cats on Halloween. What's the history behind them being both feared and revered? Black cats, Alex, have been linked to superstitions. They were once believed to be witches' familiars, but they are also seen as symbols of protection and good luck, making them an enigmatic part of Halloween lore. Black cats, Alex, have been linked to superstitions. They were once believed to be witches' familiars, but they are also seen as symbols of protection and good luck, making them an enigmatic part of Halloween lore. Sarah, do you think Halloween has a deeper cultural significance beyond its commercial aspects, and how is it celebrated around the world? Sarah, do you think Halloween has a deeper cultural significance beyond its commercial aspects, and how is it celebrated around the world? Absolutely, John. Halloween's cultural significance is multifaceted. It varies across cultures, but it often involves paying tribute to the deceased and celebrating the autumn harvest, demonstrating its diverse and global appeal. Absolutely, John, Halloween's cultural significance is multifaceted. It varies across cultures, but it often involves paying tribute to the deceased and celebrating the autumn harvest, demonstrating its diverse and global appeal. Mary, what can you tell me about the history of trick-or-treating and how it has evolved from its beginnings? Mary, what can you tell me about the history of trick-or-treating and how it has evolved from its beginnings? Well, Michael, trick-or-treating has roots in the medieval tradition of souling, where people would go door-to-door -door for food in exchange for prayers, it has evolved into the modern practice of collecting candy in costumes, making it a fun and delicious activity. Well, Michael, trick-or-treating has roots in the medieval tradition of souling, where people would go door-to-door -door for food in exchange for prayers. It has evolved into the modern practice of collecting candy in costumes, making it a fun and delicious activity. Sarah I'm fascinated by the idea of haunted houses during Halloween. Can you tell me how this tradition started, and why people enjoy getting scared? Sarah, I'm fascinated by the idea of haunted houses during Halloween. Can you tell me how this tradition started, and why people enjoy getting scared? Haunted houses, Tom, are an extension of the season's spooky theme. They started as simple pranks but have evolved into elaborate, professionally designed attractions, offering an adrenaline rush and a controlled sense of fear, which many find thrilling. Haunted houses, Tom, are an extension of the season's spooky theme. They started as simple pranks but have evolved into elaborate, professionally designed attractions, offering an adrenaline rush and a controlled sense of fear, which many find thrilling. Mary, what's your take on the supernatural elements often associated with Halloween, like witches, vampires, and werewolves? Mary, what's your take on the supernatural elements often associated with Halloween, like witches, vampires, and werewolves? These supernatural elements, David, add a sense of mystique and excitement to Halloween. They have been part of folklore for centuries and they allow people to indulge in fantasy and explore the darker aspects of the imagination. These supernatural elements, David, add a sense of mystique and excitement to Halloween. They have been part of folklore for centuries, and they allow people to indulge in fantasy and explore the darker aspects of the imagination. Sarah, I've always been curious about the Day of the Dead and its connection to Halloween. Can you explain how they intersect and differ? Sarah, I've always been curious about the Day of the Dead and its connection to Halloween. Can you explain how they intersect and differ? Absolutely, Alex. While Halloween has spooky and macabre themes, the Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday that focuses on honoring and remembering deceased loved ones with vibrant, 
colorful celebrations. Though they share a time of year, they have distinct cultural roots and practices. Absolutely, Alex, while Halloween has spooky and macabre themes, the Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday that focuses on honoring and remembering deceased loved ones with vibrant, colorful celebrations. Though they share a time of year, they have distinct cultural roots and practices. Hi, Sarah. As Halloween approaches, I'm curious about the history of jack-o'-lanterns and how they became synonymous with this holiday. Can you provide some insights on that? Hi, Sarah. As Halloween approaches, I'm curious about the history of jack-o'-lanterns and how they became synonymous with this holiday. Can you provide some insights on that? Absolutely, Tom. Jack-o'-lanterns have a rich history rooted in Irish folklore, where they were originally carved from turnips and used to ward off evil spirits. The transition to pumpkins happened when Irish immigrants brought the tradition to America, where pumpkins were more abundant. Absolutely, Tom. Jack-o'-lanterns have a rich history rooted in Irish folklore where they were originally carved from turnips and used to ward off evil spirits. The transition to pumpkins happened when Irish immigrants brought the tradition to America, where pumpkins were more abundant. Hey, Mary, I've always wondered about the origins of the name Halloween. Could you shed some light on that? Hey, Mary, I've always wondered about the origins of the name Halloween. Could you shed some light on that? Certainly, John. Halloween is derived from All Hallows' Eve, the night before All Saints' Day. It's a Christian holiday that incorporated elements of earlier Celtic festivals, such as Samhain, which marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. Certainly, John. Halloween is derived from All Hallows' Eve, the night before All Saints' Day. It's a Christian holiday that incorporated elements of earlier Celtic festivals, such as Samhain, which marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. Sarah, I've heard that Halloween has some connections to pagan celebrations. Can you explain how these ancient traditions influenced the modern holiday? Sarah, I've heard that Halloween has some connections to pagan celebrations. Can you explain how these ancient traditions influenced the modern holiday? Of course, Michael. Halloween has indeed absorbed elements from pagan rituals, particularly Samhain, which celebrated the changing of seasons and the thinning of the veil between the living and the dead. Many Halloween customs, like costumes and bonfires, have their roots in these ancient practices. Of course, Michael. Halloween has indeed absorbed elements from pagan rituals, particularly Samhain, which celebrated the changing of seasons and the thinning of the veil between the living and the dead. Many Halloween customs, like costumes and bonfires, have their roots in these ancient practices. Mary, can you tell me more about the symbolism of black cats on Halloween and why they're considered both good and bad luck? Mary, can you tell me more about the symbolism of black cats on Halloween and why they're considered both good and bad luck? Certainly, Tom. Black cats have long been associated with superstitions. In medieval Europe, they were linked to witches and evil omens. However, in other cultures, black cats are seen as symbols of protection and good fortune. So, their symbolism varies depending on cultural interpretations. Certainly, Tom. Black cats have long been associated with superstitions. In medieval Europe, they were linked to witches and evil omens. However, in other cultures, black cats are seen as symbols of protection and good fortune. So, their symbolism varies depending on cultural interpretations. Sarah. I'm intrigued by the concept of haunted houses during Halloween. What's the history behind them, and why do people enjoy being scared in this way? Sarah, I'm intrigued by the concept of haunted houses during Halloween. What's the history behind them, and why do people enjoy being scared in this way? 
Haunted houses, Alex, have their roots in the desire to create controlled, spooky experiences. They evolved from simple pranks and have become elaborate attractions that offer a thrill in a safe environment. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the opportunity to face their fears. Haunted houses, Alex, have their roots in the desire to create controlled, spooky experiences. They evolved from simple pranks and have become elaborate attractions that offer a thrill in a safe environment. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the opportunity to face their fears. Mary, can you explain the significance of costumes on Halloween and how they've evolved from traditional spooky outfits to a wide array of creative choices? Mary, can you explain the significance of costumes on Halloween and how they've evolved from traditional spooky outfits to a wide array of creative choices? Certainly, John. Halloween costumes have evolved from disguising oneself from evil spirits and have now become a way to express creativity. They allow people to become someone or something else for a day, and they've expanded beyond just scary characters to encompass various themes and ideas. Certainly, John, Halloween costumes have evolved from disguising oneself from evil spirits and have now become a way to express creativity. They allow people to become someone or something else for a day, and they've expanded beyond just scary characters to encompass various themes and ideas. Sarah, I've always wondered how different cultures celebrate Halloween. Can you provide some insights into global Halloween traditions? Sarah, I've always wondered how different cultures celebrate Halloween. Can you provide some insights into global Halloween traditions? Absolutely, Michael. Halloween is celebrated worldwide, but the customs vary. In Mexico, for instance, the Day of the Dead is a prominent holiday focused on honoring deceased loved ones. Other countries have their own unique traditions, but the common thread is the emphasis on the supernatural and the spooky. Absolutely, Michael. Halloween is celebrated worldwide, but the customs vary. In Mexico, for instance, the Day of the Dead is a prominent holiday focused on honoring deceased loved ones. Other countries have their own unique traditions, but the common thread is the emphasis on the supernatural and the spooky. Mary, what can you tell me about the Day of the Dead and its relationship to Halloween? How do these two celebrations intersect? Mary, what can you tell me about the Day of the Dead and its relationship to Halloween? How do these two celebrations intersect? The Day of the Dead, Tom, is a Mexican holiday that honors the deceased with colorful festivities, altars, and sugar skulls. While it shares a time of year with Halloween, they have distinct cultural origins and practices. Halloween focuses more on the spooky and macabre, while the Day of the Dead is about remembrance and celebration. The Day of the Dead, Tom, is a Mexican holiday that honors the deceased with colorful festivities, altars, and sugar skulls. While it shares a time of year with Halloween, they have distinct cultural origins and practices. Halloween focuses more on the spooky and macabre, while the Day of the Dead is about remembrance and celebration. Sarah do you think there's a deeper cultural significance to Halloween beyond its commercial aspects, and how does it connect with historical and seasonal themes? Sarah, do you think there's a deeper cultural significance to Halloween beyond its commercial aspects, and how does it connect with historical and seasonal themes? Yes, Alex. Halloween has a multifaceted cultural significance. It often involves paying tribute to the deceased and celebrating the autumn harvest. Its connection to historical and seasonal themes makes it a rich and dynamic holiday. Yes, Alex. Halloween has a multifaceted cultural significance. It often involves paying tribute to the deceased and celebrating the autumn harvest. Its connection to historical and seasonal themes makes it a rich and dynamic holiday. Mary, I've always been curious about the supernatural elements of Halloween, 
like witches, vampires, and werewolves. Can you provide some insights into why these creatures are associated with the holiday? Mary, I've always been curious about the supernatural elements of Halloween, like witches, vampires, and werewolves. Can you provide some insights into why these creatures are associated with the holiday? These supernatural elements, Michael, add an element of mystique and excitement to Halloween. They've been part of folklore for centuries and allow people to indulge in fantasy and explore the darker aspects of their imagination, making the holiday more intriguing and magical. These supernatural elements, Michael, add an element of mystique and excitement to Halloween. They've been part of folklore for centuries and allow people to indulge in fantasy and explore the darker aspects of their imagination, making the holiday more intriguing and magical. Hi, Sarah. I'm really intrigued by the various Halloween decorations people use to create a spooky atmosphere. Can you share some insights into the history of Halloween decorations and how they've evolved over time? Hi, Sarah. I'm really intrigued by the various Halloween decorations people use to create a spooky atmosphere. Can you share some insights into the history of Halloween decorations and how they've evolved over time? Certainly, John. Halloween decorations have a fascinating history that can be traced back to ancient Celtic and European traditions. They were initially intended to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. Over time, they've evolved into a wide range of decorative items, from jack-o'-lanterns to fake spider webs, creating an eerie ambience during the holiday. Certainly, John, Halloween decorations have a fascinating history that can be traced back to ancient Celtic and European traditions. They were initially intended to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. Over time, they've evolved into a wide range of decorative items, from jack-o'-lanterns to fake spider webs, creating an eerie ambience during the holiday. Hey, Mary, I've always been curious about the origins of trick-or-treating. Can you tell me how this tradition began and why it continues to be a beloved Halloween activity? Hey, Mary, I've always been curious about the origins of trick-or-treating. Can you tell me how this tradition began and why it continues to be a beloved Halloween activity? Of course, Mark. The tradition of trick-or-treating has its roots in the medieval practice of souling where people would go door-to-door -door singing and praying for the souls of the deceased in exchange for soul cakes. This evolved into the modern practice of dressing up in costumes and collecting candies, making it a cherished part of Halloween for both children and adults. Of course, Mark, the tradition of trick-or-treating has its roots in the medieval practice of souling, where people would go door-to-door -door singing and praying for the souls of the deceased in exchange for soul cakes. This evolved into the modern practice of dressing up in costumes and collecting candies, making it a cherished part of Halloween for both children and adults. Sarah, I've heard that Halloween is celebrated differently around the world. Could you elaborate on some international Halloween customs and how they compare to the American traditions? Sarah, I've heard that Halloween is celebrated differently around the world. Could you elaborate on some international Halloween customs and how they compare to the American traditions? Absolutely, David. Halloween is indeed celebrated differently in various countries. For example, in Ireland, where Halloween originated, it still carries strong ties to its Celtic roots, featuring bonfires and traditional games. In Mexico, the Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is a major holiday that focuses on honoring deceased loved ones. These customs offer unique perspectives on the holiday's connection to the supernatural and the afterlife. Absolutely, David. Halloween is indeed celebrated differently in various countries. For example, in Ireland, where Halloween originated, it still carries strong ties to its Celtic roots, 
featuring bonfires and traditional games. In Mexico, the Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is a major holiday that focuses on honoring deceased loved ones. These customs offer unique perspectives on the holiday's connection to the supernatural and the afterlife. Mary, I find the history of costumes on Halloween quite interesting. Can you provide some details on how dressing up in costumes became a central part of the holiday and how it has evolved over the years? Mary, I find the history of costumes on Halloween quite interesting. Can you provide some details on how dressing up in costumes became a central part of the holiday and how it has evolved over the years? Certainly, Tom. Halloween costumes have a long history that can be traced back to the ancient Celts, who believed that wearing disguises would help protect them from malevolent spirits. Over time, the tradition evolved and expanded to include various characters, both spooky and whimsical. Today, the world of Halloween costumes is incredibly diverse, allowing people to express their creativity in countless ways. Certainly, Tom. Halloween costumes have a long history that can be traced back to the ancient Celts, who believed that wearing disguises would help protect them from malevolent spirits. Over time, the tradition evolved and expanded to include various characters, both spooky and whimsical. Today, the world of Halloween costumes is incredibly diverse, allowing people to express their creativity in countless ways. Sarah, I've always wondered about the symbolism of pumpkins and their role in Halloween. Could you explain the significance of pumpkin carving and how it has become an iconic part of the holiday? Sarah, I've always wondered about the symbolism of pumpkins and their role in Halloween. Could you explain the significance of pumpkin carving and how it has become an iconic part of the holiday? Of course, Alex. Pumpkin carving has its roots in Irish folklore, where carved turnips and beets were used to represent faces of trapped souls or ward off evil spirits. When Irish immigrants brought this tradition to America, they found pumpkins more readily available and easier to carve. As a result, the pumpkin carving tradition became synonymous with Halloween, with the jack-o'-lanterns we know today. Of course, Alex. Pumpkin carving has its roots in Irish folklore, where carved turnips and beets were used to represent faces of trapped souls or ward off evil spirits. When Irish immigrants brought this tradition to America, they found pumpkins more readily available and easier to carve. As a result, the pumpkin carving tradition became synonymous with Halloween, with the jack-o'-lanterns we know today. Mary, I'm fascinated by the variety of Halloween candies available. Can you tell me how the tradition of giving out candy on Halloween started, and why it's become such a central element of the holiday? Mary, I'm fascinated by the variety of Halloween candies available. Can you tell me how the tradition of giving out candy on Halloween started, and why it's become such a central element of the holiday? Absolutely, John. The tradition of giving out candy on Halloween can be traced back to the practice of souling in medieval Europe, where people would go door to door asking for food in exchange for prayers for the deceased. Over time, the tradition transformed into giving out treats, often small cakes, and eventually, candy. It's now a way for people to share the spirit of the holiday with others and create sweet memories. Absolutely, John. The tradition of giving out candy on Halloween can be traced back to the practice of souling in medieval Europe where people would go door to door asking for food in exchange for prayers for the deceased. Over time, the tradition transformed into giving out treats, often small cakes, and eventually, candy. It's now a way for people to share the spirit of the holiday with others and create sweet memories. Sarah, I've heard that Halloween has both Christian and pagan roots. Can you provide some insights into how these diverse influences have shaped the holiday's traditions and customs? Sarah, 
I've heard that Halloween has both Christian and pagan roots. Can you provide some insights into how these diverse influences have shaped the holiday's traditions and customs? Certainly, Mark. Halloween's history is a tapestry woven with threads from various cultures and traditions. It originated as a Celtic festival called Samhain, which marked the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter. When Christianity spread, the holiday was adapted to incorporate elements of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day. This blending of pagan and Christian traditions has given Halloween its unique character and allowed for the coexistence of both spooky and sacred themes. Certainly, Mark. Halloween's history is a tapestry woven with threads from various cultures and traditions. It originated as a Celtic festival called Samhain, which marked the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter. When Christianity spread, the holiday was adapted to incorporate elements of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day. This blending of pagan and Christian traditions has given Halloween its unique character and allowed for the coexistence of both spooky and sacred themes. Mary, I've always found the concept of haunted houses during Halloween intriguing. Could you provide some insights into the history of haunted attractions and why people enjoy being scared during this time of year? Mary, I've always found the concept of haunted houses during Halloween intriguing. Could you provide some insights into the history of haunted attractions and why people enjoy being scared during this time of year? Haunted houses, David have evolved from simple pranks and ghost stories into elaborate attractions designed to provide controlled scares. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the thrill of facing their fears in a safe environment. The experience is all about immersing oneself in the spooky and macabre, adding an extra layer of excitement to the Halloween season. Haunted Houses, David have evolved from simple pranks and ghost stories into elaborate attractions designed to provide controlled scares. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the thrill of facing their fears in a safe environment. The experience is all about immersing oneself in the spooky and macabre, adding an extra layer of excitement to the Halloween season. Sarah do you think there's a deeper cultural significance to Halloween beyond the costumes and decorations? How does the holiday resonate with people on a more profound level? Sarah, do you think there's a deeper cultural significance to Halloween beyond the costumes and decorations? How does the holiday resonate with people on a more profound level? Indeed, Tom. Halloween holds a deeper cultural significance in that it allows people to confront their fears, explore themes of mortality, and pay tribute to the past. It's a time for self-expression and creativity, and it connects us to our shared history, superstitions, and a sense of wonder about the supernatural. Indeed, Tom. Halloween holds a deeper cultural significance in that it allows people to confront their fears, explore themes of mortality, and pay tribute to the past. It's a time for self-expression and creativity, and it connects us to our shared history, superstitions, and a sense of wonder about the supernatural. Mary, I've always been curious about the supernatural elements in Halloween, like witches, vampires, and werewolves. Can you elaborate on why these creatures have become so closely associated with the holiday and how they contribute to its ambience? Mary, I've always been curious about the supernatural elements in Halloween, like witches, vampires, and werewolves. Can you elaborate on why these creatures have become so closely associated with the holiday and how they contribute to its ambience? These supernatural elements, Alex, are an integral part of Halloween's mystique. They've been present in folklore for centuries, and their presence allows people to delve into their imaginations and embrace the eerie and mysterious side of the holiday. Witches, vampires, and werewolves, among others, add layers of enchantment and excitement to Halloween, making it a magical and captivating time of the year. These supernatural elements, Alex, 
are an integral part of Halloween's mystique. They've been present in folklore for centuries, and their presence allows people to delve into their imaginations and embrace the eerie and mysterious side of the holiday. Witches, vampires, and werewolves, among others, add layers of enchantment and excitement to Halloween, making it a magical and captivating time of the year. Hi, Sarah. As Halloween approaches, I'm really curious about the history of costumes and how they've evolved. Could you provide some insights into the origins of dressing up for Halloween and its transformation over the years? Hi, Sarah. As Halloween approaches, I'm really curious about the history of costumes and how they've evolved. Could you provide some insights into the origins of dressing up for Halloween and its transformation over the years? Certainly, John. Halloween costumes have a rich history rooted in ancient Celtic traditions. People would wear disguises to blend in with spirits and avoid being harmed. As the holiday moved to America and other regions, costumes became a way to express creativity and take on various characters, from spooky monsters to beloved pop culture figures, making it an integral part of the Halloween celebration. Certainly, John, Halloween costumes have a rich history rooted in ancient Celtic traditions. People would wear disguises to blend in with spirits and avoid being harmed. As the holiday moved to America and other regions, costumes became a way to express creativity and take on various characters, from spooky monsters to beloved pop culture figures, making it an integral part of the Halloween celebration. Hey, Mary, I've always been fascinated by the customs of carving pumpkins and turning them into jack-o'-lanterns. Could you explain the significance of this tradition and how it has evolved into an iconic symbol of Halloween? Hey, Mary, I've always been fascinated by the customs of carving pumpkins and turning them into jack-o'-lanterns. Could you explain the significance of this tradition and how it has evolved into an iconic symbol of Halloween? Of course, Mark. The tradition of carving pumpkins can be traced back to Irish folklore, where carved turnips and other root vegetables were used to ward off evil spirits. When Irish immigrants brought this custom to America, pumpkins became the preferred choice due to their availability. Today, carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns is a way to celebrate Halloween with their glowing faces representing the spirits of the season. Of course, Mark, the tradition of carving pumpkins can be traced back to Irish folklore, where carved turnips and other root vegetables were used to ward off evil spirits. When Irish immigrants brought this custom to America, pumpkins became the preferred choice due to their availability. Today, Carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns is a way to celebrate Halloween, with their glowing faces representing the spirits of the season. Sarah, I'm intrigued by the concept of trick-or-treating, and I'd like to know how it became a beloved Halloween tradition. Can you provide some insights into the origins of this practice and how it's evolved over time? Sarah, I'm intrigued by the concept of trick-or-treating, and I'd like to know how it became a beloved Halloween tradition. Can you provide some insights into the origins of this practice and how it's evolved over time? Absolutely, David. Trick or treating has its roots in the medieval practice of souling, where people would go door to door asking for soul cakes in exchange for prayers for the dead. Over time, this evolved into the modern tradition of children dressing up in costumes and going from house to house collecting candy. It has become a cherished Halloween activity that combines community engagement with the fun of dressing up. Absolutely, David. Trick or treating has its roots in the medieval practice of souling, where people would go door to door asking for soul cakes in exchange for prayers for the dead. Over time, this evolved into the modern tradition of children dressing up in costumes and going from house to house collecting candy. It has become a cherished Halloween activity that combines community engagement with the fun of dressing up. Mary, 
I've heard that Halloween has both pagan and Christian influences. Could you elaborate on how these diverse cultural elements have shaped the holiday and its customs? Mary, I've heard that Halloween has both pagan and Christian influences. Could you elaborate on how these diverse cultural elements have shaped the holiday and its customs? Certainly, Tom. Halloween's history is a blend of various cultural influences. It originated as the Celtic festival of Samhain, marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. With the spread of Christianity, it incorporated elements of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day. This mix of pagan and Christian traditions has given Halloween its unique character, with a blend of spooky and sacred themes that have continued to evolve over time. Certainly, Tom. Halloween's history is a blend of various cultural influences. It originated as the Celtic festival of Samhain, marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. With the spread of Christianity, it incorporated elements of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day. This mix of pagan and Christian traditions has given Halloween its unique character, with a blend of spooky and sacred themes that have continued to evolve over time. Sarah, I've always wondered about the symbolism of black cats on Halloween and why they're considered both unlucky and protective. Can you provide some insights into the history and significance of black cats during the holiday? Sarah, I've always wondered about the symbolism of black cats on Halloween and why they're considered both unlucky and protective. Can you provide some insights into the history and significance of black cats during the holiday? Absolutely, Alex. Black cats have a long history of superstitions, particularly during the witch trials era in Europe. They were believed to be witches' familiars and associated with bad luck. However, in other cultures, black cats have been seen as protectors and bringers of good fortune. The dual symbolism reflects the complexity of cultural beliefs and adds to the mystique of Halloween. Absolutely, Alex. Black cats have a long history of superstitions, particularly during the witch trials era in Europe. They were believed to be witches' familiars and associated with bad luck. However, in other cultures, black cats have been seen as protectors and bringers of good fortune. The dual symbolism reflects the complexity of cultural beliefs and adds to the mystique of Halloween. Mary, what's your take on the connection between Halloween and the supernatural, like ghosts, witches, and vampires? How do these elements contribute to the eerie ambience of the holiday? Mary, What's your take on the connection between Halloween and the supernatural, like ghosts, witches, and vampires? How do these elements contribute to the eerie ambience of the holiday? These supernatural elements, John, play a crucial role in the spookiness of Halloween. Ghosts, witches, vampires, and other creatures have been part of folklore and horror stories for centuries adding a sense of mystery and excitement to the holiday. They allow people to explore their fascination with the unknown and create an atmosphere of enchantment and thrill. These supernatural elements, John, play a crucial role in the spookiness of Halloween. Ghosts, witches, vampires, and other creatures have been part of folklore and horror stories for centuries, adding a sense of mystery and excitement to the holiday. They allow people to explore their fascination with the unknown and create an atmosphere of enchantment and thrill. Sarah, I find the global celebration of Halloween quite intriguing. Can you shed light on some international Halloween traditions and how they compare to the American customs? Sarah, I find the global celebration of Halloween quite intriguing. Can you shed light on some international Halloween traditions and how they compare to the American customs? Certainly, Mark. Halloween is celebrated differently around the world. In Ireland, where it originated, the holiday retains a strong connection to its Celtic roots, featuring bonfires and traditional games. 
Other countries have unique traditions, such as Mexico's Day of the Dead, which focuses on honoring deceased loved ones. These diverse customs offer various perspectives on the holiday's connection to the supernatural and the afterlife. Certainly, Mark. Halloween is celebrated differently around the world. In Ireland, where it originated, the holiday retains a strong connection to its Celtic roots, featuring bonfires and traditional games. Other countries have unique traditions, such as Mexico's Day of the Dead, which focuses on honoring deceased loved ones. These diverse customs offer various perspectives on the holiday's connection to the supernatural and the afterlife. Mary, can you explain the deeper cultural significance of Halloween beyond the costumes and decorations? How does it resonate with people on a more profound level? Mary, can you explain the deeper cultural significance of Halloween beyond the costumes and decorations? How does it resonate with people on a more profound level? Indeed, David. Halloween has a multifaceted cultural significance. It's a time when people confront their fears, explore themes of mortality, and pay tribute to the past. It allows for self-expression and creativity while connecting individuals to their shared history, superstitions, and a sense of wonder about the supernatural. Indeed, David. Halloween has a multifaceted cultural significance. It's a time when people confront their fears, explore themes of mortality, and pay tribute to the past. It allows for self-expression and creativity while connecting individuals to their shared history, superstitions, and a sense of wonder about the supernatural. Sarah, I've always found the concept of haunted houses during Halloween fascinating. Could you provide some insights into the history of haunted attractions and why people enjoy being scared in this way? Sarah, I've always found the concept of haunted houses during Halloween fascinating. Could you provide some insights into the history of haunted attractions and why people enjoy being scared in this way? Haunted houses, Tom, have evolved from simple pranks and ghost stories into elaborate attractions designed to provide controlled scares. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the thrill of confronting their fears within a safe environment. The experience immerses them in the spooky and macabre, adding an extra layer of excitement to the Halloween season. Haunted houses, Tom, have evolved from simple pranks and ghost stories into elaborate attractions designed to provide controlled scares. People enjoy the adrenaline rush and the thrill of confronting their fears within a safe environment. The experience immerses them in the spooky and macabre, adding an extra layer of excitement to the Halloween season. Mary, I'm intrigued by the various Halloween candies and treats available. Can you tell me about the history of giving out candy on Halloween and why it has become such a central element of the holiday? Mary, I'm intrigued by the various Halloween candies and treats available. Can you tell me about the history of giving out candy on Halloween and why it has become such a central element of the holiday? Of course, Alex. The tradition of giving out candy on Halloween can be traced back to the practice of souling in medieval Europe, where people would go door to door asking for food in exchange for prayers for the deceased. Over time, the tradition evolved to include the exchange of small cakes and eventually candy. It has become a way to share the spirit of the holiday, create sweet memories, and add a delightful element to Halloween celebrations. Of course, Alex. The tradition of giving out candy on Halloween can be traced back to the practice of souling in medieval Europe, where people would go door to door asking for food in exchange for prayers for the deceased. Over time, the tradition evolved to include the exchange of small cakes and eventually candy. It has become a way to share the spirit of the holiday, create sweet memories, and add a delightful element to Halloween celebrations.